Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ahad Raza and today I'm going to cover a very common error I see with players and their swing. Now if you haven't checked out the fantastic playlist recently released by Jonathan Power on swings and spins, I would highly encourage you to check it out. I'm going to begin this by going over a couple of scenarios. I'm not going to speak, I just want you to watch these scenarios and take a look at my swing. I'm going to get into it in a minute. So here we go, here's scenario one. Okay, scenario two. And scenario three. So now in those three scenarios, feel free to pause the video, watch them back. But essentially, scenario one was low or no pressure because I had time with the ball and I could set up my racket as high and as early as I wanted in order to bring about a certain level of deception. Scenario two, I was under more pressure, the ball was lower and quicker, and I still went in with a big swing. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. Scenario three, I was under more pressure, and I went in with a smaller swing, and I went and I put that drop shot in. The main tip I want to pass on today is that your initial racket preparation should adjust based on the degree of pressure you're under, as I demonstrated with those examples. High pressure, you have more time, so you can take a bigger backswing if you want for deceptive reasons, and then you can do whatever you want, whether you drop it, whether you drive it, whether you kill it, or as you'll watch in JP's videos, there's some nuances in terms of dropping your shoulder and showing one thing and hitting another. Check that out. The second main tip I want to leave you guys with today is that for your ease, unless you have crazy skill, crazy anticipation, and all that stuff like Nuran Gohar does in that front left corner, for instance, I would suggest that if you want to hit the ball up and the ball is low, start your swing low and come up. It eliminates the time required to drop and then go up. So if you're not the best at anticipation, if you're not the fastest mover in the world and you just want to get that ball up and hit a decent ball shot, start low when you want to go up. If you want to put the ball and it's high, you want to put the ball short, start high and bring it down. So you have to make all those sorts of adjustments based on the path that you want your ball to take. One way that you can practice this is through ghosting. Another one is obviously through solo. I'm going to demonstrate the ghosting example. So let's say in my mind, I'm going to visualize a couple of scenarios. So I'm going to say low pressure. So I'm going to take my time. I can set up with the high swing. I swing through, I watch my shot, low pressure, set up high, take my time, get to the ball. And they can say high pressure. So I come with lower prep. I put the counter drop in high pressure, lower prep, put the counter drop in high pressure lob, low prep, lift, high pressure lob, low prep, lift. You can do this in all parts of the court. I just demonstrated the front, you can do it in the side, you can do it in the back, you can do it off volleys. So for example, I'll give you one more example. If I'm going to the middle of the court, if I want to say low pressure, I might take my time, set up, hit down on the ball. If I say high pressure, Assuming the ball is low, I start lower and I just hit through. Like I said, you can practice this with movement. You can practice this with a ball. So let me give you a little demo. This ball hasn't been hit basically, so it's cold. But imagine that I play a boast and I play a high boast. I have time, I can set up with the high swing and I can do whatever I want from that position. Conversely, if I play a lower boast, I'm going to set up with a lower swing and counter drop it. So low boast, low swing. Well, I hit the tin. Let me try that again. Lower boast, low swing, counter drop, put it in. And that's how you would practice multiple scenarios with adjusting your racket preparation based on pressure, adjusting your backswing based on the path that you want the ball to take. I hope this helps. Enjoy the video, leave your comments and questions, and we will get back to you. Take care.